Good morning, everyone. So today my mom's taking the day off and my aunt has stepped in. We're going to make an Iraqi dish called Kubahamas. For this, we're going to need the following ingredients. So we have one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of turmeric, some salt as per your taste, four cloves of chopped garlic, two diced onions, a plate of chopped coriander, two large chilies, a plate of chopped parsley, about two and a half tablespoons of tomato paste, half a kilo of rice powder. So if you use half a kilo of rice powder, then you will need about 250 grams of low-fat beef to add to it, to mix with it. Then we need an additional 250 grams of minced beef for the stuffing. Next, we have here one teaspoon of citric acid and three to four boiled white turnips or shalqam in Farsi. So these are our ingredients for today. Let's begin. So we're going to start off by adding the 250 grams of minced beef to the rice flour. Next, she's going to add the salt. And the black pepper. I'm going to add about a little bit of water to the, okay, to the um, concoction and she's going to mix it with her hand. Then she adds a little bit more water. So don't add a lot of water in one go. Mix. And then some more water. And so it goes. So um, it takes quite a bit of water. It's not just a little bit, okay? So we've already used one mug and she's added uh, a little bit more. I'm just gonna add some more. So we used approximately two mugs of water. It has to become like doughy kind of the texture has to become doughy so she's doing that right now as you can see okay so once it's done you will know it's done when you can roll it into a ball like this and it sticks together we can and it doesn't stick to the hand so once it's done leave it on the side Next, place a pot on the stove, add some vegetable oil. That's about two tablespoons of oil. Next, she's adding the other 250 grams of minced beef. And she begins to stir it. Okay. Next, she's going to add the black pepper. I'm mixed around. Black. Next, the salt. 
so we fried for about four and a half minutes and now she's adding the diced uh, onions until they become golden. That's, we're gonna fry them until they become golden. We stirred for about four or five minutes. Um, now she's adding the parsley. Next, she's adding the turmeric, about half a spoon. This is all for the stuffing. And she's gonna uh, mix it a little bit and then we're done. So we stir it for about half a minute. This is done, this is the stuffing. We're gonna leave it on the side to cool. So after the stuffing has cooled down, um, we take some of this, the dough concoction, and she rolls it into a ball and then she like makes a hole into it. Like that, okay? And then she adds the stuffing to the center, not too much. And then she sticks the sides together, rolls it back into a ball. It takes a little bit, rolls it into a ball like that. And then she makes a hole in like a hollow. She adds a little bit of stuffing not too much and then she squeezes the sides together and then rolls it back into a ball okay so we're going to do this with all of them so next we add yes. some vegetable oil and then some, some tomato paste And then you add all of the tomato paste. So then uh, place it on the stove, add the garlic. And mix. So we stirred for about a minute. Now we're going to add the turmeric, the rest of it. And the rest of the salt. Stir it in. Next we add the coriander and the green chilies, all of it. By the way, she slit the green chilies. As you can see. She cut them in half like that, okay? And stir. Now we're going to add the rest of the citric acid. We stirred for about two minutes and now we're just going to add the rest of the citric acid. After the citric acid, add some water. And then we add some lemon juice, okay? About that much. Stir it in. And then keep tasting it. If it needs more lemon juice, add more lemon juice. If it needs more salt, add more salt, that sort of thing. Then we leave it to boil. So this has come to a boil. We're going to taste it now. Okay, so this, uh, we tasted it, we added some more salt. Remember, it's kubahama, so it needs to be sour, okay? Sourish, not too sour. Since this has come to a boil, she's adding the kubas now to the pot. All of them, add them gently. Make sure that there is distance between each um, piece. 
So once you've added the kubas to the stew, you leave it for 20 minutes for it to solidify. And then you lower the heat and let it cook for about 45 minutes. So about 17 minutes have passed and um, this has solidified. So we have lowered the heat to minimum and we're leaving it to cook. So about an hour and 10 minutes have passed. Yep. She's adding the white turnips now, which she had boiled earlier. And we'll leave it for about three to four minutes. Okay, so this is done and uh, we're gonna serve it now, but I just wanna taste a bit. Mm. Gorgeous. And it's really good, try it. If you like the episode, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Bye-bye.